Okay, so this question, how do you convert theory into practice? And for me, in that is the uh, thing of, um, this is something very common to spiritual seekers, um, is that they always want to read another book and find out about another practice. They go, oh, this book's great. And that's so great. And it'd be great to apply that. But I need to read another book first. And then they read another book and they find another great idea. And that's a great idea. And then they've read the book and, and their ego goes, well, you, you understand it all. Why don't you see if there's another book you can understand? And so they go on, you know, it just is this frame. And um, so, again, that's a very, very clever trick from the ego. Um, as Hawkins said, one of the greatest blocks uh, for the Western societies, not, I'm not talking about like in Thailand or Tibet or something, is this dominance of just being in thinking all the time. The, the, I call it the addiction to thinking. The, you know, we worship in, uh, understanding science, theory, explanations, understanding as uh, as god basically and uh so worshiping my thinking and being stuck in my thoughts all day long uh is really a worship of the, it's really a, a core of addiction to thoughts like if i if i understand things enough then i'll be god you see because i understand everything um so and so hawkins teachings were primarily for the western audience uh trying to get them out of being stuck in their head all the time but he did. He did. Um, he did think that, that you have to give them initial understanding before you get them to transcend the addiction to thoughts. So he did give a lot of um, heady stuff just so people get the understanding of the ego. Um, so here's the thing I'd say: um, if you know a good practice, whether it's the Course in Miracles or um, something simple like you're going to forgive everyone in every moment without exception, no matter what, with a 100% radical commitment then um, once you know that and you, you have faith in the teaching or the teacher that that would work, when your ego says, why don't I get, okay, I do know that would probably work and I do trust the source, the book or the teacher, and then you want to get another book and understand something else because you might understand something better in a different book and not apply that, then that is um, uh, that is ego avoidance of doing the thing so it's like uh once you've got one thing that you're gonna you know is we're gonna work the course of miracles or the observer or um radical forgiveness whatever it is then um i would um encourage you to just do it uh and commit to one practice or at least for one practice for every few months uh, and 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 don't let your ego divert you because that's just an ego ploy uh, to uh, distract you into more learning. You know the uh, what you're trying to do is undo the addiction to thought. So you can't reading another. Once you know one practice that's going to work, reading another book is really going in the wrong direction. You know it's really like um, you've got a field that needs crops, uh, and you you read a book on how to plant the crops. And then you go, oh, I know that would probably work, but there might be another book where I could probably find some more information. I'll understand that. And so you end up planting no crops. So you've got to um, um, pray. Like if you've got one thing that you, you're sure God's guiding you will work, then uh, just commit to it. And, uh, you know, because that's your commitment to liberation. Uh, the commitment to reading another book is that would actually be an avoidance um so yeah uh okay i'll stop on that one